15 of his 29 points coming in this third quarter in a variety of ways. Off the dribble, using the glass, the pull-up jumper here. This is what I love right here, the step back three. 83-75, Boston has... Our own Allie LaFour has had a chance to talk with Coach Missoula on what's it going to take for the Celtics to even up this series. Well, Coach, you called this a mindset game. What do you like about the team's mindset heading into the fourth? We're just staying in it, handling their runs. Thought we lost our poise a little bit at the end of the first half. Thought we regained it uh, in the third quarter. Speaking of runs, how do you stave off a late Miami push because you know this team won't go away? Got to keep them on a transition. Got to keep them off the glass. We got to take great shots. Thank you, Coach. Rebounding is even at 31. Turnovers, 11 for the Celtics, 9 for Miami. And three-point shooting with 27 tries. Boston, 9 of 27. Miami, 7 of 20. Yeah, neither team shooting well, but let's remember Boston wins over 80% of the time when they outscore their opponents from the three-point line like they're doing tonight. Miami outscored him by 18 from three in game one. So here comes Brown. He's out there with Williams. There is Tatum at that uh, 15 point, as Reg just told you, third quarter. Rob Williams had it to shoot. has given the Heat trouble when Boston has gone to it. I can't remember the last time Rob Williams has missed a field goal. He's perfect tonight. 3 of 3 was 8 of 8 yes, he was. in game 1, shooting 81% in these playoffs. Cam Adebayo picked up his third foul. It's Vincent, Martin, Robinson, Bam, and Lowry. The 5 for the Heat with a foul. As they were trying to corral Adebayo, Boston will pick it up. It will go on Grant Williams, who's out there at Brogdon, Brown and Tatum, and Rob Williams. Grant and Robert Williams on the floor. Defensive-minded players. Into Martin. What a pass. This communication there. Everyone's so worried about Duncan Robinson coming off screens, getting to that three-point line. They forgot about Martin. Martin's got a new playoff career high. With his performance tonight, the pass to Brown and was cutting and freezing inside in a foul. Is that going to be four on Bam? Bam will pick that up. It is number four. Well, here it is. They try to switch out, as Reggie said, miscommunication. And Caleb Martin wide open. But at the other end, we said at halftime, Boston needed to solve the zone. The first two shots here against the zone are right in the paint and draw fouls. Stan, what is your read on Boston and their playoff struggles at home? They're 10 and 10 over the last two years, 4 and 4 in the playoffs this year in the building. All the other teams in the final four, the other three teams unbeaten at home. They've all got perfect records. I wish I could tell you, Kevin. It's inexplicable to me that a team that can be as good on the road where it's tough to win in the playoffs can have so many struggles at home. All right, to me, it's all mental. Mental lapses that they go through. they got a fantastic fan base here that they can always work off of, and they just kind of go in and out. Vincent tried to get it away and in. Could not. Now they're fighting for it. He's on the floor, though. A guy who didn't even play in game one. An energizer off the bench in Grant Williams. This is how you earn minutes. Tough shot by Vincent. And right now, it's the first to the floor. And we know throughout these playoffs, the Heat, number one in deflections. Loose balls. And I think Grant Williams, he understands that. We're at home. Let me get this energetic crowd into this ballgame. And you both said in game one, it seems like he would fit this series. Uh, absolutely. But look, giving credit to, because a guy who played as much as he did during the year, 79 games, 26 minutes a game, could pout about being out of the rotation. And instead, from Grant Williams come to play. And again, what was the play that started all that, Reggie? The high 
nice green and roll, putting Tatum and Robert Williams in the action. This 12-point lead matches the biggest for the Celtics tonight. Slashing inside and scooping it home with two more.